who were about to die when masked gunmen burst in, but it was one of the robbers who ended up dead. Police say a man at the party on Lake Mott Drive in College Park surprised the home invaders when he pulled his own gun. Channel 2's Tom Jones live at Grady Hospital where one student is recovering from gunshot wounds. Tom. Yeah, John, that female student was caught in the middle of the gunfire, and she is lucky to be alive. Actually, all those students who were at that party are thankful, thankful that that one student took matters into his own hands. If they hadn't been there, I don't know what would happen. Charles Bailey is talking about the college student who risked his life to save the 10 people who were at his party when two masked gunmen burst into his apartment. I think all of us are really cognizant of the fact that we could have all been killed. The gunman ordered the men in one room and the women in another. Apparently, his intent was to rape and then murder us all. That's when one student urged another to take action. There was a gun in a backpack, and one student grabbed it and started shooting at the gunman watching over the men. That invader ran away. The student then kicked in the door where the second gunman, identified as Calvin Levant, held the girls. Apparently, the guy's getting ready to rape his girlfriend. So he, he tells the girls to get down and start shooting. The guy jumps out the window. Levant died from gunshot wounds to the face and arm. A female student was hit in the crossfire but survived. A neighbor told me she thought she heard one of the gunmen run by. I just heard him say, somebody please help, somebody please help, call the police. And that was right after I heard the three gunshots. Bailey, a college student himself, was shocked when I told him Levant lived just a building away. Building 17. What? Building 17. Oh, man. And Bailey says the gunman told him they had been watching him, and now he knows how. Police say they are close to finding that second gunman. Uh, the student here was hit several times, but is expected to survive. We're live at Grady Hospital in downtown Atlanta. Tom Jones.